I don't think that it's my responsibility to tell someone that I'm HIV positive if they are treating me as if I'm not. Your health is your responsibility. Came across a very interesting video on TikTok and it's dealing with, with HIV and, and uh, the whole stigmatism around the virus and things like that. You know, and nowadays you can take all types of medicine and, and not even become um, detected in, in actual HIV tests. But I feel like this is, is something that needs to be addressed uh, way more often. I feel like nowadays sometimes it's not it's not mentioned as much because there's so many different drugs people can take to kind of necessarily say you don't have it, but kind of prolong your life, hide the fact that you even had the virus. But interesting video we're about to get into just me doing a quick ration on it and i just want to know what you guys opinion is on it hiv positive right and this is just a psa to those that are not hiv positive disclosure is my choice when i disclose and how i disclose and who i disclose to is up to me i find it so crazy how people are telling me that i need to disclose before i go on a date that i need to disclose before i kiss somebody this is the craziest one before i even tell them my name it's not happening I don't think that it's my responsibility to tell someone that I'm HIV positive if they are treating me as if I'm not. What? What the f Your health is your responsibility. Adopt the mindset of medical practitioners. Assume that everyone has something until they prove to you that they do not. Why are you kissing a stranger or trying to kiss a stranger that you just met? Why are you trying to have intercourse with someone raw that you just met? You don't know me from a hole in a wall. Why are you trying to put your thing inside of me without any kind of protection? Why do I have to be the one to say, hey, chill out, I'm HIV positive, instead of you asking, taking the time to know me, get to know me, let's go get tested together if you want to take the next step. Why do I have to be the one protecting you from yourself? No, baby, that is not my responsibility. And I just wanted to make that clear. Okay, love you, bye. Now, I, I, I agree with her to a certain extent. Um, you know, first date, you should be definitely trying to get to know, get to learn, get to learn who you're dealing with, get to know the person that you're trying to be involved with. If you're wanting to take it to a more uh, serious, you know, serious relationship. But the part of, of what she said I disagree with is if someone is trying to make an advance on you or whatever and whatever there, and we all adults, sometimes stuff happens, you know what I'm saying? Liquor gets started and getting involved and you start vibing with somebody and the, and the situation's right. And, you know, next thing you know, you, you know, you're having sex, but the part that I don't agree with her is it is your job to let people know that you're HIV positive, especially if something like that is potentially to be able to happen. Saying that it's everyone else's, job to take care of their health and protect themselves now that is correct but like i mentioned stuff happens you know so we're all adults and people get caught up in the moment but if you know that you're hiv positive and you're getting to that that part that point i feel like you definitely need to let someone know you know you don't let someone know you know when it's almost towards the fact so this is the point that, that the part where i'm kind of kind of have mixed emotions on you know, like I said, I, I agree with her to a certain extent about everyone should protect themselves. But the fact of saying that it's not her job to uh, it's not her job to tell every to, to tell whoever she's involved with that she's HIV positive. That part I, I don't I don't agree with. I see a lot of outrage and a lot of new faces in my comments. My name is Bianca. I've been living with HIV since 2019. Me and my man have been together since 2020, and we have a beautiful three year old girl both of which are HIV negative. Education is power. And I see why people feel so defensive and so defenseless because they feel powerless in a situation when a person like me, who is HIV positive, says that disclosure is my personal choice. However, many people in my comments are too uneducated to be having unprotected sex. I know that I, for one, was not only uneducated, but naive to the consequences that came along with having unprotected sex. I have a spouse and I have a daughter, so you guys can tell me to disclose before a first date till your faces turn blue. Is not going to change my life at all for the purpose of this video is for you to think about your own life and your own decisions because you cannot force anyone to tell you the truth about themselves unless they so choose to 
You treat every single person that you encounter as if they have something until they prove to you that they do not. What I actually find laughable about this whole thing is that so many people are like, you have to do the right thing. The right thing is doing what God says for us to do, and that is to not engage in premarital sex. You yourself are not living right, and that's why you're coming for me. Instead of changing your own actions, instead of doing what's best for you, you'd rather attack me for what I'm saying because it is the truth. You can't force anyone to do something that they're not going to do. So what are you going to do in a situation where they're not going to tell you that they have HIV or herpes or, you know, the last time they got tested was three years ago and they just went raw on someone else last week. It's not about me and my decisions. You don't got to worry about me. In fact, you do not have to worry about anybody else but yourself. The only thing you can control is how you decide to move forward knowing the information that I just shared with you. Because the only dates I'm going to go on are the dates with my man when he takes me shopping. So, <laughs> but all jokes aside, guys, there are over 156,000 people living in the U.S. that do not know that they have HIV. Please take care of yourselves. That's all that this video was about. It's about you looking in yourself and seeing, are you treating yourself as someone who deserves to be loved, respected, and honored? Because if you can't provide that for yourself, no one else is going to do that. God bless. Now, that's the part that she she, she left out in the beginning. They, so she had people in the comments, you know what I'm saying, upset. Like, yo, you are basically encouraging people to have HIV, letting them know that it's not. they don't have to tell people that they're affected by the virus. Now, look. If you if if you for a hundred percent know that you're just going on a date and you know it's nothing serious, yes, I can understand you saying, Yeah, I am not gonna tell this person that I have HIV. But if you feel like there is a potential that y'all can get serious and this can be a long term thing, you you owe the fact to that person to let them know that you are HIV positive so they can make a decision on whether they wanted to pursue the relationship or continue on with whatever. That you should, exp you know, that you should explain to people. Let people have that decision on whether or not they want to continue to have a relationship with you, or move forward with you. So the whole confusion in her second video that she uh, cleared up was: yes, you're not disclosing it because you're with one man that you've been with for the past five years. You guys have a daughter together. So that first video made it seem like yo, like she was just wild and she just out here just doing whatever, but. In reality, she's been with a man that she's been with for the past five years, as she said. And, you know what I'm saying? They got a, a whole kid together. So I think that's where the outcry and the, and the whole confusion and the upset people were in her comments were mainly for that reason. You know, you were basically saying, hey, you know, from the outside looking in, like, it's okay to have relations or, or to date people and not let them know. But at the same time. You're not letting people know because you're dating the same man that you've been with for the fa past five years. So what you were saying didn't even apply to you. So I think that's where the whole confusion came from. Because I'm HIV positive does not mean that I am spreading HIV. Honestly, it doesn't even shock me how many people think this way. The education system did do a really bad job at educating us to modern day HIV. But if you're going to be accusing me of something so malicious, please do a chat GPT search at this point. I mean, there's no excuse. Aside from the fact that I've been sleeping with one person for literally five years, I cannot spread HIV because I am undetectable. What undetectable means is that the virus inside of my body, meaning the viral load is so small that it cannot be number one quantified quantified in an exam, hence undetectable, and number two, it cannot be transmitted, meaning I cannot transmit it via intercourse, I cannot transmit it via pregnancy, if I nick my fingers while doing my nails, no one is going to acquire HIV from me, it basically means that I cannot transmit the virus. Undetectable means untransmittable. You equals you. I sincerely hope that this clarifies and helps end the stigma surrounding HIV. Bye. And as she said, you know, from when I was a kid until now, there's been so many changes with HIV. You know, there's medicine now that can pr prolong your life. There's medicine that you can take now that makes it to where you don't even test positive for the for the virus. But yeah, I think I think schools need to do a better job of of uh, educating. I know my kids' school they, t you know, they let them know everything about STDs, wearing condoms, sex, everything. 
and I feel like you know people feel like they're it, that that it's not as important or not as serious as it used to be because now there's medicine to kind of hide it. Now the thing that I, I don't agree or I, I I don't like is the fact that yes you you're being you're undetectable because you're taking medicine, but you can you you never know what the long run effect is. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that works for the first, you know, for 10 years and all of a sudden your body starts rejecting it. And now you, you are now exposing people to the virus. So I just feel like just to, to keep, you know what I'm saying? Everything cordial and everything moving forward. That's, you know, if you feel like you're going to be dating somebody, you're going to be serious with somebody, you need to let them know at the beginning of, of the relationship, let them know as soon as possible when you feel comfortable, because you never know. There's some people that might be okay with it. And there's some people that might, you know, feel like, hey, this may not be something that I want to, you know what I'm saying, potentially expose my life to. So I don't know. Uh, let me guys know what you feel like, uh, how you feel about the whole situation. You know, do you feel like that people that have HIV, at what point in a relationship do you feel like someone should let that be knowledge that they are exposed or, or I'm sorry, affected by the virus? Do you feel like it's it's. You, you 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 keep it disclosed until you get to the point where you guys think you're going to have sex or do you feel like you should say it when you guys first start dating? I don't know. Um, but in my opinion, I feel like the earlier, the better. So you can just have, the, you know, have that situation put behind you. And, you know, you never know. Some people may be fine with this up and, and you just have to be you have to be OK with the fact that there's going to be people that's not that's not going to accept it. But uh, at least my comments down down below. Uh, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, your notifications. And uh, till next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.